I could have been a contender. Hey, Nick Shaheen here. So I'm pissed. Well, I'm disappointed. The Fed ruined a potentially perfect setup for a rip your face rally, even bigger than the bounce off the bottom. Well, we don't know if it's the bottom. This interim bottom. So with their rate hike, they they muffed it up. Okay, what am I, what am I talking about? So this is the S and P futures contract. So think SPX basically. Um, and we were setting up. We had a tremendous fall, and we had a rebound. We hit a wall, a neckline, so to speak, and we faded. Um, and then we hit it again. We faded, and we were coming to hit it again. So it was going to be something tremendous, in my opinion. And I was totally excited in the chat room. We were all geared up to see what the. F <laughs> I'm upset. Uh, okay, so this is a neckline, correct? They they did whatever they did. They tried to hit it. They failed. They tried to hit it, and they failed miserably, miserably into the lows of whatever twenty eight, whatever that low is twenty eight fifty, twenty eight forty five. Then then they took their way, you know, higher lows, higher highs. Boom! They hit the same neckline, right? Right there, same neckline, so clean, almost to the penny, and failed. But only this time the failure was tiny, like really tiny. They don't usually go from this to this tiny. And then came back to it and hit it again. And then also it was tiny. And then they were coming to hit it. And then the Fed came and cut rates. Ruined it. A perfect, clean neckline like they don't make often. Beep. <laughs> Artificial spike that immediately priced out. This was a relief pop. That's what I call them. When something bad doesn't happen. Um, so it wasn't like, yay, reason to buy. It was, thank God we're not going to zero because the Fed's got our back type of a deal. So they quickly fade, those guys. And immediately we priced it right back out. But now the clean neckline is ruined. So what would have been um, great if they didn't do this and instead did something normal, which would be just to attack it maybe one more time and eventually go above it. And if they did, this is, I'm going to eyeball it 230 points, 220 points. Let's call it 200 points even so, so we don't give this much. Usually when an inverse head and shoulders, this one is, I don't know if they call it complex inverse head because it has two shoulders or at least more than one shoulder and one giant head. Um, one day breach, when you go above them, the buyers overwhelm the sellers and they overshoot. And the technical, you can look it up. Uh, I'm, I taught this stuff myself, but you can go double check. Usually they want to rally as much as the depth of the cone. To me, I usually look left and see if there are some resistance spots, and there are. But usually it does price it, but over time. So this would have been a tremendous rally to bring us to the 3220 um, area. So whatever, this was 3096, so 3309, let's call it 3100, so 200 points from 3100. Um, this was the potential that got ruined with this stinking tick. That's my opinion. Now, we may still do this pattern, but in a convoluted way, because look what happened here. This rally was bogus just to free up whichever market makers that got stuck in this. And also, if you extend it, perfect bottom. So these are not coincidences, people. Somebody got stuck here. They did this to fix that. And this is just a ping pong action off of it. So now we move the neckline. So now the neckline is up here. But it's not as clean. I mean, this is a questionable tick. So ruined it. We could have had it right here. And then they could have, if they had just waited a little bit and then maybe did it after we crossed above it and then came with it, boom, that would have completely launched it. All right. So now on the way up, we have to look at if we ever go up again. Uh, today is the 5th, and we had a bad day, but the day before it was even bigger big day, and before that was smaller bad day. So we had plus 4.5%, minus 2.5%, plus 4 point change percent, minus 3 point 
whatever it ended today, 0.5%, whatever. So we're still edging up, but this violence is has got to end. It won't end until the VIX abates and that sentiment. So this is going to be a big resistance spot, and clearly uh, every ledge from before is going to be a big resistance spot. So just eyeballing. But this is my beef. This guy right there. Ugh, the Fed. Freaking Fed, man. Anyway, next signing out. Oh, down below, first, subscribe to YouTube, channel free, down below description, um, chat room. We do this all day.